Hey, hello friends. Welcome to our channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. So, one of the important and salient feature in SAP S4 HANA relevant to SD model point of view that is sales document flexible workflows. So earlier and all, whenever we, we, we would like to build up any workflows, then we, we need to know the ABAPR, then, then they will develop the objects. So parallelly, the workflows will trigger. And in the my inbox, I mean the T code SBWP, in SBWP, we will get the notifications about the emails, like approve this request. Something will receive that. And that is kind of a complex workflow development in ECC. But in our S4 HANA, it made very simple with the help of Fury apps. We can do the relevant configuration and make it work with the less development from a BAP point of view. So, in upcoming sessions, I will discuss about what configurations required and uh, what apps that we should use to configure these workflows. I will explain everything in detail in the upcoming sessions. Uh, today, we will go through the demo on this workflows. So for that, I am trying to create one sales order. I have entered sales document type sales area in the initial screen and I have added that I built to party I mean, sold to customer and ship to customer. I have the material quantity, everything I have done. Now, I will save this order now. Click save now. So, getting this great management error, click continue. Fine, debugger has been activated. Okay. Okay, now the sales order has been created. Let me go to the transaction code VS02 now. Anyways, I'm getting some uh, update termination dump. Go to VS02. Okay, I'm in VS02. This is the order number. If I click enter now, I'm getting one message saying that in the in the bottom, sales document is in approval status, no changes are allowed. That means workflow has been activated and this is now in approval status now. So until it is approved by the approver, we can't do any changes to this order parallelly. We can't create any subsequent documents for this order like delivery and invoices. Nothing will be possible, it's completely blocked now. It should be approved by the approver. Usually, the sales representative will create an order and he is that requester basically, and the, it will go to that uh, approver. And the approver will release that order. Once it is released, then only we can go inside this order in change mode. Until then, we can't do anything here. Okay, now order has been saved. Now let's go to the one more Fiery app that is My Inbox. So currently, I am in the app My Inbox. Okay, let me open one more time for your reference. So let me search My Inbox. Okay, so open the app, and you see here the all orders which are created and which are in the approved status will appear here. Because I am the approver, that's why the request to take action on that particular order comes to my inbox. Before SAP S4 HANA Fiery, we will getting this email in SBWP. Now we are getting this in my inbox Fiery app. And if you see here, we'll see the order number and that uh, workflow 
user id is sap underscore wfrt order number the order reason and sold to party ship to party sales org and net value of the order and if you scroll down you see that uh, who created this order when it was created and item information like uh, item number description quantity net value everything we can see here the main thing we should notice in this app is that you see here for this order we have multiple options here mainly focus on these three options that is release request rework and reject so if we release means the order will be released then we can see this order in we can open this order in v02 right and if i click request rework means then this order will be goes to the person who created this order again that person also receives one notification in his inbox currently the creator of an order the approval of an order is myself same user only but in real time it won't be like that the created by will be one person person a and approval will be the person b right once the approver person b request for rework means then the notification will appear in the my inbox of the user person a then he needs to check that request and again he needs to send it for approval and this is reject so we can straight away reject this order if it is not required means we can reject this order so like this these are three options that we will receive in case of an sales order approvals fine what i will do i will release now not on order number this order number ending with 512 i will release now submit okay the task successfully completed once that is done means we don't see the order here it's disappear now right now let me go to the t code vs03 and i will try to open the order now you see now the order is okay let me open vs02 Okay, it is five one two. Fine. It takes some time to update this order. Let me open VH zero three. Okay, if I go to the status header level and status tab, you see the approved status is in approval, right? And this is the reason for that approval. so whenever the flexible workflows has been activated in the sales document level means we see one extra field in the sales document header that is approval status so remember this particular field that means in the database table level vba ke level also we get some extra field which will uh, indicate the status of this workflow approvals whether that is a not relevant one or it's in progress is approved or rejected the status will be visible in vba ke table also fine so i approved this but it still saying that it's in approval let's wait for some time let me try to open again 02 okay it's still saying that might be the sync issue is there that's fine so this is the one thing one more thing is that we did release now this time we will do for request rework let me click this again submit okay i will mention some notes here check the payment terms the approver identified that the payment terms is incorrect then he will mention something here the notes we will click submit okay now the order number ending with 511 has been disappeared now okay now i will refresh again you see 
it, it came now. File eleven, we request for rework, right? It came to my inbox because I am the user. I am the user who created this order, and I am the approver for this order as well. But in the real time scenarios, the uh, user who created the order and the user who approves the request will not be the same. Both are different persons. If I scroll down and let me click show log, it's loading. Somewhere we see the notes what has been added by that approver. Let me check where we can see that one here. Here it's see. Ah, you see here under this uh, comment section, you see the notes added by the approver. Check the payment terms. And you see this one. Five one two order came now here. Okay, let me let me release this again. Ending with five one two order number. And uh, let me refresh. And you see that uh, description of the each and every order here. The first one is the rework of sales order because it came from the approver to us by saying the rework. And six one two has been, I mean five one two has been released. Now let me try to open this one now. Okay, it is saying that currently being processed by SAP WFRT user ID. Just wait for some time; it will open now. So until it's approved, it can't be open. Fine. So this is the meaning of that release and request rework. Reject. Reject is straight away rejecting the sales order. So if I click reject means then the items in the sales order will be rejected by adding the valid reason for rejection quotes. Let me reject. Remember the order number is five ten. I click submit now. Ending with five ten. Okay, now that has been done, and if I refresh now, I will get that five ten order here as well, because I am the user who created the order, and I am the user who approving it. Okay, let me. Okay, now see the five one two order has been opened now. If I go to the document header and the status tab, you see now the approved status has been released. Earlier it was in approval. Now it has been released. And uh, let me refresh again. Yeah, you see file eleven rework. Okay, what about file ten? Okay, let me open the other order that is ending with file ten v zero three file ten. And if I go to that item, so not here. A reason for rejection. You see, it has been rejected. So this is the three important fields that we have here: release, request, rework, and reject. These are three actions that we can take, and everything. This three action has been configured in the backend. How system should behave, right? We can discuss, discuss about these options and uh, complete setup. How it should be activated these workflows later? This is a simple demo. How it works after doing all the Configurations. Uh, that's it from this video, friends. We can catch up in the next video. Thank you. Bye for now.